The following is a party political broadcast produced by the Green Party of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Well, I think a rich New Zealand would be a New Zealand where the economy and people and the environment are all considered one system that works together. There'd be more opportunities for everyone. We'd have a better public transport system. There would be a decent minimum wage. There'd be a smaller gap between the haves and the have-nots. There'd be houses you can afford. I reckon in a rich New Zealand we'd have more jobs. We'd have m &B. Well, healthy food would be cheaper. Well, I think in a rich New Zealand we'd, we'd measure success in more ways than just monetary gain. Kia ora, I'm Russell Norman. And I'm Mitiri Ature. Together, we're the co-leaders of the Green Party. 18 years ago, I was a young mum on the DPB, no education, no prospects, but with this beautiful baby who needed me. And I needed help. I used the welfare system to take care of us both, to go to university, to get my law degree. I understand firsthand how important a supportive government is. For me, a richer Aotearoa is one where every parent is valued and where every child has a roof over their head and food on the table. I grew up in Australia. I came to New Zealand 15 years ago for work and for study and I loved it here and I've been here ever since. I've worked in factories, on farms and in offices. I have a doctorate in political science, I'm a member of parliament and a new dad. I believe a richer New Zealand is one where we look after the people and we look after the environment. This election, the Green Party has three priorities for action in the next three years to help build a richer New Zealand. We're going to clean up rivers, get kids out of poverty and grow green jobs. We have a plan to stimulate 100,000 new green jobs through government leadership and business incentives. It will add resilience to our economy without taking our country further into debt. And you can read all about the details on our website. One action is extending the home insulation scheme we created to a further 200,000 homes. We will encourage businesses to join the green economy through research subsidies and tax incentives. We need government support for sustainable services and products which can be sold around the world. A good example of this is a Kiwi company called Aquaflow. They've developed a way to turn sewerage into biofuel, fertiliser and clean water. But we've got to keep it Kiwi. With government support and partnership with investors, we can keep our best and our brightest anchored in New Zealand. We get the ongoing benefits of jobs and research and we don't lose all the profits overseas. And while we're on the topic, selling off our state assets, even a part sale, won't make New Zealand richer. The Green Party will keep our country's assets in public ownership and we will put them to work as catalysts for our common economic good. Global investment in renewable energy is set to double to $800 billion a year by 2015. With the right incentives, we could get at least 1% of that global market. Just 1% would generate billions of dollars in exports from New Zealand and employ tens of thousands of people in clean jobs right here. If you want New Zealand to get a piece of the clean energy action, you need to party vote green. In a richer New Zealand, I reckon all our lakes would be clean. I just want my kids to be able to swim in our estuary. So. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to swim in the mighty Manawatu. But now, it is one of the most polluted rivers in the world. The good news is, we can clean it up. The Green Party has a plan to make our rivers and lakes clean enough to swim in again. Just like this one. After all, it's every Kiwi kid's birthright. Having healthy waterways is good for our Clean Green brand, which underpins our tourism and agricultural exports. The Green Party will set standards to control the amount of water coming out of rivers and to cut pollution going into them. We'll introduce fair irrigation charges and use those funds to clean up our rivers and create green jobs. We need to support farmers and industry to help find solutions that work for everyone. 
A Green Party vote at this election is a start to making our rivers clean enough to swim in again. Well, I think in a richer New Zealand there should be more care for parents and their young children. Our kids are really important. We're here at Edmund Hillary School in South Auckland to celebrate a positive story. As a Desol One school, they've had their fair share of challenges, but by developing their own Mahina Kai gardening and learning program, they've changed attitudes and brought their community together to support each other. It's a great start in the battle against some of the problems caused by real hardship. Child poverty is a reality in our country and the Greens have a plan to do something about it. We have developed four solutions to bring 100,000 children out of poverty by 2014. We'll give parents on the benefit better access to the training incentive allowance to help them study and take care of their kids. We'll extend working for families to 140,000 of the poorest households with children. We'll raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour immediately to help working parents provide for their children. And we'll develop insulation standards for rental properties to ensure warm, healthy homes for thousands of kids. Child poverty costs this country around $6 billion a year. If we invest just a fraction of that in our kids now, we will save money and save lives, ensuring a better future for all of us. We just need your party vote to make it happen. A richer New Zealand would have more Green MPs. Uh, I think we need more Green MPs in Parliament. The Greens are a growing popular party with a fresh new way of looking at the world we live in. New Zealand was the home of the world's first Green Party and we have been represented in Parliament now for well over a decade. We're a successful independent party and we've delivered great Green change regardless of who's been in government. In just the last three years, working alongside government, we've made 100,000 homes warm and dry. We've got the funding for the cycleway, for toxic site cleanups, and for pest control, and more. Your vote can deliver even more positive change for the next three years. To find out more about what we believe in and why you should support us at this election, please visit our website. We have policies on economics, health, education, justice, and so much more. If you share our vision for a richer New Zealand, one with clean rivers, where everyone has a job and every child has enough to eat. If you want a smart green economy that works for everyone, at this election, party, party vote, vote green. green.